over the next 20 years, there's going to be a mass transfer of wealth from one generation to the next, estimated at over $65 trillion. Every day, over 10,000 people in this country turn 65. And we've started to see a rise in the number of cases against the elderly, whether it be by stockbrokers making unsuitable recommendations for investments that are far too speculative or unsuitable for the investor. We've seen a rise in claims of financial advisors who have ingratiated themselves to clients only to try and become a beneficiary of their estate or a trustee or executor in order to try and make more money off of an elderly client's estate. And we've also seen cases involving financial advisors who are not showing the duty of care or loyalty to their clients and instead to other family members who might have their own reasons for why they want a portfolio managed in a certain way. Whatever the circumstances are, if you believe that you or a family member have been a victim of elder financial abuse, our attorneys can help figure out what happened, what's going on, and how we can help you recover your losses.